Akuma, the soul-killing master of the fist, versus Shao Kahn, the soul-eating conqueror of worlds. For the longest time, I've been wanting to see these two notorious villains go at it in a death battle, even if it was unlikely to happen. Until it was revealed that the next fight is going to be between Wonder Woman and Thor. Yep, they're bringing back two previous death battle contenders and have them face off each other in a fight. So this does give me high hopes for this matchup to happen. However, I won't be doing any predictions for this fight. I'll wait until they announce it. So for now, I'll just reveal what these two characters have to bring into the table. And I'll just let you guys debate about it in the comments in the end. So sit back and enjoy. At a young age, Akuma and his older brother Goken were trained by a man named Gotetsu, who trained them in the art of Ansatsuken, or Assassin's Fist. And as the name implies, it is a lethal fighting style. However, Goken wanted to make his own non-lethal version of the art, whereas Akuma wanted to fully embrace and master the dark side of it. So he eventually left Gotetsu's dojo to train alone. And during that time of training, he fully embraced and gave in to the Satsui no Hado. Afterwards, he returned to Gotetsu's dojo and fought his master to a fight to the death, which he won. And after Akuma killed his master, he took his prayer bead necklace and claimed himself the true master of the fist. And from that day forward, Akuma's journey to be the strongest warrior in the world began. Thanks to the Satsui no Hado, Akuma has mastered the dark side of Ansatsuken and all of its techniques, including the Gohadoken and Goshoryuken. He also has a demon flip called the Hayaki Shu, and the Ashura Senku, a teleporting move where Akuma phases through all enemy attacks. Akuma also has a lot of ways of finishing off his opponents. These are the finishers that stand out to me the most. My favorites are the Kongo Kokuretsuzan, where Akuma punches the ground so hard that it causes a massive explosion. This move is so powerful, he once destroyed an entire island with it. But this move doesn't even compare to his most fatal technique. The Shungoku Satsu, aka the Raging Demon. This move is so deadly that Akuma can use the opponent's past sins against them and completely destroy their soul. And if you think Akuma couldn't get even more powerful, think again. He has the form of Shinakuma. He enters this form when he unleashes the full power of the Satsumi no Hado, giving him a huge increase in power, speed, and durability. But wait, there's more. Akuma can also enter the form of Oni. This happens when he fully gives in to the Satsui no Hado, pretty much becoming one with it. And he gains even more power than before. Not only that, he also gains new special moves and new ultra moves, including the Tanchi Sokaigen, where he punches the ground hard enough to send his opponents flying, then he flies up to them and finishes them off with a powerful uppercut to the back. But even without these transformations, Akuma has accomplished quite a lot. He has defeated both Ryu and Ken at the same time, defeated his older brother Goken, Bison, and even Gil. He once leveled an entire forest, and even as Oni, he is so powerful that he caused a volcanic eruption with one strike, and he survived the eruption. But as powerful of a warrior Akuma is, he doesn't have a perfect track record. He has only suffered one loss to his older brother Goken, and he only managed to fight Oro to a stalemate. He can also be pretty arrogant, always talking down to anyone he sees unworthy. He always prefers a fair fight, preferring to fight his opponents to their full potential. But despite his arrogance, Akuma has proven time and time again why he is the master of the fist. This guy is an absolute demon. If you're his next opponent, be prepared to fight or be prepared to die. Thousands of years ago, Shao Kahn was assigned by the Elder Gods to protect the realm of Outworld. He became the chief advisor to Outworld's ancient ruler, the Dragon King, Onaga. Together, they conquered each realm of existence one by one. Until one day, Shao Kahn poisoned Onaga and took the Emperor's throne for himself. After that, he conquered even more realms, including the realm of Edenia, one of the most powerful realms in existence. And as a reward, he killed their king, Jared, 
and took their Queen Sindel and their Princess Kitana as his own wife and daughter. And shortly after that, he set his eyes for Earthrealm. Shao Kahn is a master of dark magic, and he uses his sorcery in combat to gain the upper hand, using it for moves such as the charging spikes, light spears, and the Emperor's shield to deflect enemy projectiles. He also uses his sorcery to absorb and manipulate the souls of his enemies. Throughout 10,000 years, Shao Kahn has consumed at least 60 billion souls, and each soul gives him more power. And if using his bare hands don't work, Shao Kahn can summon his Wrath Hammer out of thin air to do even more damage, or finish off his opponent with a brutal fatality called Home Run. With this, he throws his opponents up in mid-air, summons his Wrath Hammer, and smashes them to pieces with one swing. And finally, there's Double Down, where Shao Kahn jams his hands into his opponent's chest and rips them in half. Not only can Shao Kahn do a lot of damage, he can take a lot of damage too. He took a hit from his own hammer and he can take hits from Raiden's lightning. He even killed the monster Blaze, took his godly powers, and won the battle of Armageddon and took over Earthrealm. And he would have ultimately succeeded if Raiden didn't send a message to himself in the past. Unfortunately for Shao Kahn, as powerful as he is, his arrogance is always his biggest downfall. Seriously, if you played any Mortal Kombat tournament where he's a boss, he'll always taunt in the middle of a fight. And if that wasn't enough, he always underestimates his opponents no matter how strong or weak they are. I mean, come on, he lost to Liu Kang twice, and Liu Kang's not even a god. And not only that, he's not a perfect conqueror because the rules of Mortal Kombat restrict him from immediately conquering a realm. In order to do so, Shao Kahn's chosen warriors must have 10 wins in a row in the form of Mortal Kombat held every 50 years. But despite all of his failed attempts, Shao Kahn has proven more than enough that he is a force to be reckoned with. This guy is an absolute powerhouse, and he'll take on anyone brave enough or dumb enough to get in his way. And there you have it folks, now I'm going to save my prediction for when they actually announce this fight. So in the meantime, I'm going to leave it up to all of you. Who wins this? Akuma or Shao Kahn? As always, hope you all enjoyed and thank you for watching. Like and subscribe, all that good stuff. Stay tuned for more videos and have a nice day everybody.